Hello, and welcome to Tech Cubicle on SAP. In this video, I'm going to look at what happens in a disaster scenario with SAP BTP in Cloud Foundry. This is not the legacy Neo environment. I will look at what is backed up, what is not backed up, and how you can increase your resilience for when disaster strikes. I also show how to find information about how to fully back up certain BTP-based services and how to find the disaster recovery service level for BTP. You might be shocked by what we find. What is BTP and how is it hosted? SAP Business Technology Platform is SAP's latest PaaS solution for a lot of the latest SaaS-based products. Some examples being SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP Integration Suite, SAP HANA Cloud, and many others. The BTP platform itself is deployed on Cloud Foundry in a resilient pattern across three availability zones with your selected application slash services deployed in the same manner in the region of your choosing. If you are not sure what Cloud Foundry is, in summary, it is an open source platform using containerized architecture that can be deployed on a hyperscaler, public cloud. The SAP BTP applications slash services are available in the Cloud Foundry environment on many hyperscalers in many regions. It is possible to choose which hyperscaler and region during application slash service deployment in SAP BTP. I've put a link to the Cloud Foundry webpage in the description down below. The BTP platform itself is backed up by SAP. You cannot control or configure this. With certain disaster recovery technologies, it is possible to have replication as a protection measure. This means replicating data from one location to another. We know that backups are used for disaster recovery of SAP BTP because of what is written in SAP Note 3081375. For the Cloud Foundry environment, only standard disaster recovery is available, which is based on storing database backups in all availability zones of a given SAP BTP region. For me, the word standard implies that there is another level above standard, but in this case, there isn't. The line is saying that backups are replicated between zones within a single region. Is it possible for that single region to be down? Yes, a region is usually a collection of three or more hosting locations known as zones, with their own segregated power, heating, cooling, and networking. I use the words carefully because different hyperscalers treat the exact physical representation of a region differently, but a region being unavailable is recoverable eventually. It would need what is known as a catastrophic disaster scenario to prevent that region and all its data from being brought back online. Is it likely for that single region to experience a catastrophic disaster? No. In my opinion, it would need a significant world-changing event to occur, like the predicted overdue solar storm, maybe, or an impact of a miscalculated asteroid, maybe. What happens to BTP in a disaster? In the BTP disaster recovery statement found in the BTP product help on help.sap.com, it says the SAP BTP disaster recovery DR plan is part of the overall SAP BTP business continuity plan, which includes crisis management and process continuity activities that are triggered by a declared disaster. The key word is declared. This is a similar statement used by all hyperscaler vendors. The word declared means that SAP would need to declare that a disaster has happened before the disaster recovery plan is executed. Ah, it's my problem. We're doomed. Normally, a declaration of disaster can be anything from hours to days after the disaster has actually happened. As an example, Microsoft's Azure documentation is similar, and so this is reflected in SAP's documentation since SAP BTP can be deployed on top of Microsoft Azure. The service levels are flowed down, except there are no service levels when it comes to disaster recovery in the cloud. This is understandable in some regards because who can predict what type of disaster will happen? Let's imagine a disaster has been declared by SAP and SAP decide to recover the SAP BTP platform to a new region. What happens to your applications slash services? Crisis has been averted. Everything is super. According to the documents I can find, your data may not be recovered automatically. This is because all the applications slash services have their own data backups and they're stored in one region. So in this highly unlikely scenario, where three whole zones have been lost, including the three replicas of backups, all business data would be lost. Scary, but unlikely. In a different, more likely scenario, let's imagine that one of the three zones has been lost. What happens to your applications slash services? 
This will depend on which application slash services were used. Some are taken care of by SAP as they are included and managed by the SAP BTP platform. Application slash services that depend on the SAP HANA Cloud are different. For SAP HANA Cloud, deployed with the optional replicas feature, then one of your replicas already existing in another zone will be promoted to primary automatically. If you have SAP HANA Cloud deployed without replicas, then you will need to request a restore to another zone. It's not automatically restored to another zone by SAP. For some of the other applications and services that are hyperscaler backed, like SAP Document Management Services Object Store, they do not have backups. Instead, they rely on the underpinning hyperscaler technology to automatically replicate the data to another zone, so they should still be available automatically. You really need to understand the services that you are consuming and any actions that you will need to be taken in a DR scenario. You cannot assume that all your BTP hosted applications slash services will be always automatically available. What about other types of disaster? There are other scenarios of disaster which are more local to a specific company or SAP BTP global account. As an example, accidental deletion of data or maybe even a malicious employee or a more likely scenario today is a ransomware attack. The attackers get into your BTP account, exfiltrate the data and or configuration and then delete it entirely from BTP. But we've already talked about how to get the data recovered, especially SAP HANA Cloud, so this scenario is easily recovered from. No, it's not so easily, I'm afraid. Certain SaaS applications deployed on BTP may present additional things to be backed up. What additional backups do I need to do in BTP? Here's how to find applications slash services that need additional backups which are not performed by SAP. Let's open up the help.sap.com site for the SAP Business Technology Platform. We can search at this level through all documents related to BTP. We search for backups. In the search results, just quickly scrolling down and casting our eyes, we can see that there may be more to backups in BTP than we imagined. We've got results for the ABAP environment, connectivity, SAP ASE service, Kima. We want the BTP platform backups, which I know are this link here under the best practices for SAP BTP section. I'll put the direct link in the description down below. We can see the top line talks about the fact that BTP backups are managed by SAP and it also mentions that there are some exceptions. If we scroll down slightly, we can see a list of services with automatic backups. We scroll on down to services without automated data backups. We've already touched on the object store, which is hyperscaler backed and uses hyperscaler replication. Finally, we scroll down to service configurations managed by customers. This is where it gets interesting. SAP doesn't manage backups of service configurations. However, you can back up your service specific configuration yourself. This backup allows you to restore your configuration in case it's deleted by accident. I can think of another scenario where you could use these backups, but it involves asteroids, solar death storms, and other unlikely things. You might be thinking, but we have this configuration stuff documented. I'm always a little skeptical about this because having worked in IT for over 25 years, I've never seen such a blasé attitude to documentation than in today's fail fast DevSecOps infrastructure as code culture. Let's scroll through some of these listed items. Cloud connector. Yes, you will more than likely be backing that up on premise. Just be aware that there is a specific application level backup capability for Cloud Connector, also useful for when you are about to patch it. BTP destinations. You use these for connecting to systems, including on-premise systems. You can always recreate your destinations, but could be tricky if there are API keys involved, which may not be documented anywhere. Backing up X.509 certificates could be useful to speed up the resetting of principal propagation, allowing single sign-on between BTP and other systems. I guess there's no point in restoring a system from backup unless you can get into it and use it. Exporting the SAP Cloud Integration Key Store entries. Fairly important if you connect to third-party services or systems using TLS or SFTP, or where client X.509 certificates are used for authentication. Without these key store entries, your integration flows might not work, and contacting all those third parties to reobtain the certificates is not going to be a quick task. We get to the end of the list, but there's a hint that this list is not exhaustive. If your service has configurations that can be backed up, 
You can find more details in the administration section of your service documentation. You will need to do more research. You can use the search method on help.sap.com that we used earlier. One thing to think about. Once you've successfully exported those configuration items and keys and certificates is where you will store them. They're critical and maybe sensitive items which should not be stored on a laptop. My recommendation would be to store them out of band somewhere from SAP BTP and somewhere that will be accessible in a DR scenario. Finally, we reach services without user-specific configurations. There's not much we can do here, apart from mention that if you do make use of these services and you configure them, document the configuration steps. Make sure the documentation, like all your documentation, is stored somewhere that is accessible in a DR scenario. We've reached the end of the video and the internet is still working, so I have to assume that there has been no catastrophic disaster scenario. I think we can summarize as follows. Your SAP BTP account in Cloud Foundry only exists in one region, replicated across three or more zones. If some crazy disaster strikes and the region is completely destroyed, then it's game over for your data. If a zone goes down and is not recoverable and you do not have any form of replica in another zone, then you'll need to request a restore to another zone. If you lose service configuration like keys or certificates and you've not backed them up manually, then you will need to somehow re-add that service configuration. Make sure you properly document your service configuration. Make sure that you back up your service configuration where possible. Securely store the documentation and service configuration backups out of band of SAP BTP. Hopefully you can sleep easy now. As always, reference links are in the description. Drop me a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.